Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Cardfight Vanguard Luard deck profile for posts, the Stride deck set Luard. Wanted to make my take on the latest Cardfight Vanguard Shadow Paladin deck set for the Luard deck, focusing on Stride Power just from G format, but being able to incorporate the cards into Overdress or D format. We have the eight card Stride set along with all of the, you know, remade and counter cards for Luard mixed in with some other Keter cards that I think would definitely help with the overall play style of the deck and its ritual setup. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So we'll go ahead and start off with the actual strides themselves because as you know being a stride deck set you can stride onto your grade 3 Vanguard Dragheart Luard with your many different strides. So for our first one we're running four copies of Drag Driver Luard. On the stride step, choose one or more cards from your hand with the sum total of their grades being three or greater and discard them and stride this card onto your vanguard from face down. And on the vanguard circle, ritual three, when this unit attacks, counter last one, turn a card from your G zone face up, search your deck for up to one unit card with the ritual ability, call it to rear and shuffle the deck. So it's a pretty generic setup for your first initial stride that you want to go into. Our more powered up stride is in the form of drag strider Luard because this one also requires you to have a grade three with Luard and its card name to discard for its stride cost and then also with this card having a gb2 ritual seven so you have to have seven of your grade ones in your drop zone to use this card's ability when this unit attacks if you have five or more units with the ritual ability until the end of that battle this unit gets plus ten thousand and critical plus one and retire two rear guards and discard a grade three card from your hand with luard and its card name and this card gets drive plus one and your opponent cannot call grade one or greater cards to the guard circle so this really restricts also some sentinels that they may try to use against you with this pressure with just not being able to call grade one or greater cards they still have options like their uh you know blitz orders to use but still having this as a power up and for the fact that this card has triple drive to begin with getting an additional drive plus one meaning you have four drive checks and the initial power and critical is a real pressure hit to go with this card for the ride deck we are also in the new format where we have the 50 card main and the four card ride deck so don't forget it our starter is drag prince root one wrote upon if you went second draw a card so the standard starter for the deck but we do need it for the grade one drag wizard knees when placed by riding from drag prince root draw a card and you get a drag heart luard crest which will go over the crest in just a bit but just the standard grade one for all the stride decks as well with our grade two being drag wizard leofall when it's rode upon by a grade three with luard and its card name soul blast one and draw a card so you can also just soul blast one of your grade ones to help further the ritual play style in the drop zone with our grade three being drag heart luard along with the copy that we run in the ride deck we are also running the additional copies of this card in the main deck as well so we have the discard cost power to use our drag strider luard because we also have to discard a grade three card with luard in its card name and then also for the stride cost so it's a pretty heavy hit grade three to go into to begin with with this card and also for the three ofs at the beginning of your ride phase choose two normal units from your drop put them on the bottom of your deck in any order and to end of turn you may stride without paying the cost for your stride so you don't have to discard your grade threes for your stride cost with this card as well so you can get into drag strider luard and other cards as well by using the ritual three ability and also being able to choose a rear guard and retire it to search your deck for up to two grade one or less cards just to help further get through the deck for all the grade ones you'll need for your ritual costs for the actual crest that I mentioned before as well, for this card, you can perform stride and cannot ride grade three or grade cards without Luard in their card name. The original power of your grade threes with Luard becomes 13k as well. And during your turn, if you have a grade three greater Vanguard with Luard, all of your front row get plus five for each face-up card in your G zone. And at the end of the turn, if you strode without paying the cost this turn, you can choose up to one critical from your drop and put it on the bottom of your deck. So recycle power as well for that added pressure that I mentioned before, but then also giving you all the added perks of having the crest to begin with in a stride deck. Our other grade three is in the form of Solomon Cloud Dragon. It gets plus 10,000 on the rearguard circle and when it's discarded from the hand while paying the cost for stride, you draw a card. So you're making up for the discard cost of going into your stride to begin with with this card. So just a good card for pressure on the rearguard along with the crest's initial power and then just the drawback it can give you also. 
And for the grade twos, four copies of Drag Wizard Morfessa. Ritual three on rear guard, and in the drop zone, it gets grade minus one, so it's always counted as a grade one, two. Count towards your grade one numbers for a ritual. When it attacks a vanguard, if you have a Drag Heart Luard crest until the end of battle, this unit gets plus 5,000. If your G zone has two more face up cards, count plus one, search your deck for up to one unit card with the ritual ability and a different card name from this unit, and call it to rear guard and shuffle the deck, which we have plenty of in this deck to begin with. It just has to be a unit with ritual, so you can also have setup for your other grade two in the deck which is the additional three copies of drag wizard leofall that we run as well when this car your card with grade four and Luar and its card name is placed on vanguard discard a card from your hand and call this card to rear guard so if it's used for let's say an intercept you can at least just discard a card from your hand which could potentially be another grade one to set up your ritual play to call leofall back onto the field for our grade ones which we do have a good number of in the deck also the four copies of abyssal owl from the hand if you have a drag heart Luard crest Discard this card, search your deck or drop for up to one grade three with Luard and its card name, put it into your hand. If you search your deck, shuffle the deck. So we need the two invested cards to be able to go into the Drag Strider Luard, so being able to use Abyssal Owl to at least search out one from the drop zone as well, because otherwise we only have the three to use in the main deck as well. So if we're investing two copies for the first time we go into this card, we'll need another copy from the drop zone for it again. And then also with this card at the end of your turn, with Ritual 3, if you have a Vanguard Luard and its card name, bind two cards with the same card name as this card from your drop to counter charge one. So more counter charge power as well for all of our different uses for counterblasting in the deck. And then also the four copies of Drag Wizard Simaeus. During your turn, if you have a Drag Heart Luard Crest, it gets plus 2,000 power on rear guard with Ritual 3 and GV1 when placed on rear guard, other than during the battle phase. If you have a Vanguard with Luard in its card name, look at the top two cards of your deck. Choose the one card from among them, call to rear, put the rest on the bottom of the deck in any order. If you called a card, you retire this unit by called by this effect at the end of the turn. So more setup for Ritual later on, but just giving you more resources to use. You can't use it during the battle step because otherwise you'll just be able to call out completed new columns, but still very, very helpful for at least being able to set up those columns to begin with. And also the three copies of Luminosity Wizard. Ritual three, if it was placed on rearguard this turn, it gets plus 10,000 power. And when it's retired from rearguard during your turn, if you have a drag heart Luard Crest, you can soul charge one, choose one of your vanguards, and it gets plus five to end of turn. I'm running three of this just because another grade one tech that I'm testing out in the deck also. But the other ones before that is the three copies of Preservation Angel, having the intercept and plus five power for being a grade one, just with ritual. And my grade one of choice in the deck, I am running the three copies of Painkiller Angel just for at the end of the battle this unit boosted, Soul Blast 1, retire this unit, and draw a card. So the Soul Blast 1 and the retire of a grade 1 can just help to get them in the drop zone all the faster as well. I may run 4 of this card. If I were to do so, I would take out one of the Preservation Angel. You have plenty of draw power in the deck to begin with, so needing an additional intercept and the plus 5k shield doesn't pop up as often. You just want to rely more on being able to set up your ritual in the drop zone. And for the rest of the grade ones, the four copies of our Sentinel being Drag Saver Esras, being the encounter Sentinel of choice just to fit thematically with the deck as well. For the trigger lineup, we're going with the seven criticals for the added pressure. So if you have the ability criticals, you can always run them in the deck, but just with Drag Strider Luard's pressure with the extra critical, if you can hit at least two of it, dealing four damage and your opponent didn't have enough to guard this attack, that could be your game winning hit right there with your Vanguard's attack. And also the four copies of the draw trigger, which we are running the four copies of Protection Magic Perobi for the additional plus five shield that this card provides when guarding against a grade three or greater unit and our heal just sticking with the generics the rakula heal for the added 15k shield without eating any other specifications from another card and our over trigger being a martinoa i thought of using one of the cray elemental ones but still very very happy with the rear guard pressure that you can provide thanks to this over trigger and that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoy. We'll be going forward with the Shiranui cards as well. So look forward to that stride deck set as well. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.